We're back. Where's my tanning? Me! You please step back towards the bone, please. Oh, fuck. First time we were here, we were a little scared, guys. Did we do something to upset you? Just a slightly less scared guy. Oh, okay. Shut it off. I fucking hope I see a ghost. Hi, my name's Anna, and I have some evidence from Waverly Hi, Hills. my name's James, and I have evidence for Waverly Hills. I suddenly felt like somebody was watching me. Warm across like my the back. I was standing up on my heart. A stick figure show up on the Somebody pulling camera. on my pant leg. I'm like to find this unexplained shape. Can you guys investigate? Welcome to Ghost Files, where we take your evidence and our tools into the field to expose the supernatural. My partner, a skeptic. Myself, a believer. Both of us, truth seekers. This week, our team travels to Louisville, Kentucky to investigate Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Okay. It's cold. It's as cold as it is horrifying. <laughs> We're certainly painting the air with our breath right now. And you're gonna paint those hallways with your... Feces. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna rub my doo-doo all over it. It remains imposing. It does, it's quite the building. Well, let's get in there and get dirty, huh? There's a, a comical amount of windows here. <laughs> so many opportunities for me to have a heart attack on camera. <laughs> Be a hell of a series premiere. Yeah, series yeah. premiere, series finale. <laughs> Waverly Hill Sanatorium was built in 1910 to treat patients of tuberculosis, and over the course of its lifetime, would eventually see approximately 63,000 deaths within its walls. With so many succumbing to the painful disease, it's no wonder that the spirits of some patients might remain today. Sort of a happy place though, right? Actually it was. They treated their patients quite well. They didn't really know a lot about tuberculosis. Who could have? It's a crazy thing. You start coughing up blood? It was a problem. We got our own little fun thing that we're dealing with here in 2022. Very fun. I can't imagine what it would have been like back in the day when you had to, you know. Quarantine. You could probably catch it from a horse back then. I don't know how it worked. Well, I don't think that's how it happened. You kiss but... a horse, you get TB. That's got to be some science. Well, that wouldn't be an issue for me because yeah. I'm not kissing horses. But yeah, for you, I don't. An issue I mean, for I me. guess it's hard to find yeah. people. I've seen Equus. Your height. The hospital sits on an isolated hill overlooking the Ohio River in Kentucky. It stands five stories tall with over 100 different rooms, enough to accommodate more than 400 patients. Believed to be more active the higher you are in the building, we're going to be starting from the ground up. We've also placed cameras and audio recorders in two of the more active parts of the building in hopes that we catch activity when we're elsewhere. One on the third floor said to be haunted by a ghost named Timmy, and another on the fifth floor outside room 502 said to be haunted by a nurse. The worst part of the building is undeniably the roughly 500 foot long tunnel referred to as the body chute. I've been there before, I hated it then. I'm probably gonna hate it now. Body shoot's the only place I've ever been as scared in my entire life. You've been as scared there? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I do I remember. heard a little frog. You know, why do I remember that so vividly? Oh, it's because you left me down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And finally, to end the investigation, Shane and I will each be forced to explore the entire sanatorium one at a time. Are you excited to get back out there? I am. I've been ready. I've been stocking up with new gear. I'm gonna catch a goddamn ghost. You are, and I'm gonna be there to film it. And with that, our investigation begins. You like that little vote of confidence? I did like that. That's for you. But the investigation already began. Oh. All right, let's just take a second here. It's been six years since we've been here. Should we reintroduce ourselves? We're back. And baby, we're better than ever. Nailed it. This time we got the tools, honey. Is that our new catchphrase? I don't think so. We'll have to workshop that. Hey, this place looks freaky. Our first room is the morgue. Due to the fact that some records have since been lost or destroyed, estimates vary, but the number of deaths at Waverly Hills Sanatorium range from about 50,000 to 65,000 individuals. And spoiler alert, they all probably saw this room. The amount of activity in this place is evident by some of the stories we received from you, the audience. Jess Porter reported her hair being tugged. Sydney Owen saw a disembodied arm touch and move her friend in the morgue. And, and that means sort of like a... Not like a... 
No, I don't think you quite understand. Like an arm by itself, like a floating arm, just yeah. like a real muscly. If I saw a disembodied arm push. Yeah, you'd scream. Of course, I'd be very scared. I'd love to see that. I, I want everyone to know I'm going into this series yeah. with a thirst for evidence, and I hope it's quenched. I hope you quench it. I want to see these ghoulies. You're saying you're- Show me the ghoulies. You're saying you're very open, but it's in a, it's in a very threatening tone. So I am open, I am receptive. What else have people seen here? I'm glad you asked. We have more in this room than just anecdotes. Allow me to introduce our first audience investigators, Deanna and Mark Erskine. So one of the things that I submitted was an EVP actually captured with my husband, Mark. While our friends were posted up in the lobby, I decided to do my solo investigation in the morgue. I laid down on the body rack with my EVP recorder and proceeded to ask questions for the next 10 minutes or so. It wasn't until the following day when reviewing our evidence that we discovered what seems to be the sound of a woman humming. Look at the tools. I gotta play uh, my little EVP machine here. Oh boy. You ready? Or if you want help. Did you hear it? First room, baby, we're back. The morgue is a fitting place to begin. Exactly. <laughs> I remember this place. Yeah, I mean, I've been in very few morgues in my lifetime, so yeah, this place rings a bell. So obviously Deanna sent us an EVP of a lady humming in here. Yeah. See if we could get that to happen again. Can't be hard to get a hum. Ghost Sky, I mean, come on, just a hum, you don't even have to move your lips around, just give it a <laughs> If you could hum a tune, can you hum Yankee Doodle Dandy for us, please? I mean, that's probably the one song they knew back then. <laughs> Take it away. Are you hearing that? Yeah, a little bit. Are you hearing that? The hair on the back of my fucking neck is standing up. I mean, it could have well been a, a car outside somewhere, but it did sound like a sort of a low tone somewhere in the building. <laughs> I certainly heard something there. I mean, do I think it's a ghost? No. Do you? Yes. Fully? Yeah, I'd say if I were someone who believed in ghosts, I'd be a little unnerved right now. I'd probably get the little shaky knees. I, uh, my, my back is tingling. Could, could you, whoever was humming, could you hum again, please? Okay, well, I'm really glad we didn't hear anything on that one. Tell you what. Why don't we move to the yeah, spirit? No, there was another. What, really? Yeah. Tell you what. I swear to God, in between you talking there. I didn't hear it. Thank God, I didn't hear it. <sighs> fucking first room. Fucking first room in this horrible fucking building. Let's move to the spirit box. Maybe we'll get some. Let's move to the box. This is the perfect place to test my new spirit box amplification system. Oh. Word on the street is it's called the honey tone. Spirit box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits can communicate. And the honey tone filters out the noise while amplifying only the voices. So. I'm gonna fire up my device here. This will help you speak to us. Now, Shane. Ryan. Here's what you normally would hear in the past. Yes. Cheers. Yeah. Now watch. Oh. I like anything that makes the spirit box quieter. My name's Ryan, this is Shane. Can you say either of our names back to us if you want to communicate? That's Ryan or Shane. Oh, there's a little flute. That was nice. A little Nintendo Wii flute right there. Can we hear from the lady who was caught humming in here? I didn't catch that. Can you say it clearer, please? Laura? Is that Laura? I'm sorry. It's gonna have, we're gonna have to have one. Oh my God. We're gonna, wanna? We need one person at a time to speak. Laura, let's start with you. Why are you still here? 
Why did it get so quiet? The, the power bank turned off. Oh shit. The ghosts fried it. They fried my machine. <laughs> my ghost machine. It's fucking busted. I'm dude. sorry, Laura, we lost contact there. Why are you still here? Ugh. She don't sound happy. Laura, do you have any words of wisdom for the children of the future? Can you tell me the name of the room we're in? Say morgue. That actually kind of sounded like the morgue. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well we're gonna go in a... So if there's anything... What? So we're gonna go in a second here. Sound angry. Yeah, I don't know why you're so upset. Did we do something to upset you? I mean, I guess... Jesus. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, shut it off, dude. What, what, what did he say? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that was incredibly unsettling. I'm happy. I like it more than the spirit box, but I gotta say, they got a scary energy to them with this machine. I don't like this room. I'm gonna say it. The morgue? Yeah, Shane, I don't like the morgue. What's your issue with it? You know what the morgue? weird thing about it was? Is I felt, like, bad in yeah, the morgue. Yeah, bad vibes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Just trying to get out. Our next room is the second floor sun porch. For many years, treatment for tuberculosis was the very scientific prescription of rest, fresh air, and sunlight. Yeah, air is good for the body. <laughs> Have you tried sitting down and breathing? That might help you. <laughs> well, you know, you don't want to be in a Manhattan breathing in a bunch of horse dung and exhaust. But it is eerie to be in a building where you know probably 50% of you aren't gonna make it. Yeah, I guess that's kind of like elderly homes though, right? I'm talking about like imminent, like this I was- mean, I mean, I tell you, my grandma's- Jesus. Seniors <laughs> living center, it was- <laughs> They were flying out of there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you'd think it was a race. Nice place to hang out, chill. Nice little sunroom. If I was a ghost, I'd probably hang out in here. This would be my spot. If I was a sick person, I'd hang out in here too. Consequently, patients spent a lot of time outdoors or were placed to rest in front of open windows, even in the winter. And it's in this room that audience investigator Braxton Rapp captured a startling piece of evidence. We were walking around on the second floor when I got serious chills. Like the hair was standing up on my arms. My mom and I had been taking pictures the entire evening and it wasn't until later I was showing them to my friends and one of them was like, hey, um, what's that? So when we brightened up the picture, I was totally freaked out with what we saw. Is this the face of a former patient on the sun porch? Let's see if I got anything. Does not appear so. Was that a fart? No, that was a fucking noise. That was a fart. No, that came from down there. Are you fucking kidding me? That was no, not a fart? that came from down there. Because I... I'm surprised you didn't react to that Because I thought you farted. No. Maybe that's what the jack-o'-lantern face was. Man, was that you farting? It was. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> well, Braxton, we'll see if we could use our tools here. Let's get Ryan's magical toys. They're not toys. Now you're probably wondering what this is now. Ryan, tell me about the REM pod. Well, I'm so glad you asked. The REM pod creates its own circular electromagnetic field and will alarm when anything penetrates that field. The more colors on the alarm, the more significant the intrusion. The REM pod also detects temperature fluctuations. So about, ooh, I'm getting pretty close. You have to get pretty fucking close. The device I'm holding in my hand is an SLS cam. The SLS cam uses a grid of infrared light to recognize human-like objects in front of it, even in complete darkness. I could see your stick figure. It looks like it's humping the wall. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> Probably winding down right now. Ooh, what's going on right here? I don't see anything. I see your stick figure, but I don't see anything on the... For whatever is down here, if there's anything with us, or if there's anyone with us, rather, can you get close to that doorway? Can you can you make that uh, little glowing circular thing sing? 
How about one of you just follow, come towards my voice? And by doing so, we might get some activity on the REM pod. Maybe be a shadow person if it's too hard to be a corporeal body. Just be a, sha a shade. Can you demonstrate some dancing near the REM pod, Shane? I'd like to, so I can see the boat. The, the, I'm the, starting to think you just like to see me dance. Well, remember, yeah. Shane, this is the first time we've seen this device. Oh, yeah. Well, his dancing is actually making the camera confused. <laughs> I could see him in the IR camera. <laughs> the REM pod's actually like really digging. It's like giving you a round of applause almost. Oh shit! Oh, your ass fly has made it go into overdrive! <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> it's gonna start smoking over yeah, here! It's gonna start smoking like a fembot! <laughs> Moving down the west wing of the second floor, the next area we'll explore is the elevator shaft. In the 1980s, when the building was shut down, the building fell victim to disrepair and often was inhabited by transients or youth looking for a spot to turn God's grass into sweet clouds. In one tragic instance, it said that a transient man and his dog were found dead in the elevator shaft. Just that is also one of my fears. That you'll fall down an elevator shaft? Yeah, that thing where in movies and TV people, you know, step into the elevator and they're like, well, I'll see you. Whoa! Like the elevator malfunctions is not that there's nothing in the shaft and they fall down like Wile E. Coyote. No, you fall down like Wile E. Coyote. You walk into it, you hold there for like two seconds. And then you hold up a sign that says, yipes. <laughs> Oops. That's how I'm gonna go. Like I've had visions of this. Some believe his spirit haunts that area to this day. And it's near this elevator shaft that James Ashenden captured some truly shocking evidence. This photo was taken around the area where the elevator shaft is. I was just snapping photos with my phone. I didn't notice it at the time, but um, went back afterwards and was having a look through, and this was the one that had the cleanest detail. Is this possibly the apparition of the ill-fated man who fell down the elevator shaft? You seen anything? I'm not capturing anything on the photos. So, obviously, other than the man that was found in the shaft, they also found a dog. Yeah. They got a little trigger object here. Come get it! It's Come on, right Doc. Here. We got a bone for you. It's right there. Dog love a bone. Dog love a bone. You better get it, dog, otherwise I'm gonna get after it. Does a dog understand what you're saying? I don't fucking know. What a... My name's Ryan, could you say my name back to me? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell us your dog's name? Can you tell us what happened to you? How about this? Oh, Jesus. Whoa, what's going on? Is that you by the pod? Step away from it if it's you. Oh, shit. Okay, if that was you again, could you please step back towards the uh, bone, please? Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Uh, step away now? You step away now, please? Step away from the boat! Okay, that's- you understand yes and no, then. Can you make that turn on for yes? Did you get pushed down the shaft? Hey, 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 you just walk up to that thing and touch the bone! Guy. We have another way to maybe communicate with them. What is this other way? We're gonna do something called the Estes method or Estes method. Instead of using a speaker system for this spirit box, I'm gonna be the speaker. So I'm gonna put headphones on that are noise canceling and I'm going to say whatever I think the spirit box is saying. Meanwhile, you're gonna be asking questions that I can't hear. Oh. And if you hear a response that's compelling, pretty good. And you don't have to get annoyed by the ch -ch -ch that you love so much. I actually like this. I like this a lot. All right, it's me. I'm talking to the spirits now. And you can use my little buddy over there as a antenna. What's your name? Incredible. Bit cocky. What are you doing? Scare me. Scare you? You're a ghost. You should be scaring me. Typically how it works. Do it. Okay. Okay, uh... Booga booga booga! You know, I don't know what to fucking... I'm just here to get a picture of you on my iPhone. What was the name of your dog? What was the name of your dog? Steve. Your dog's name was Steve? Okay. 
What did you think as you were falling down the elevator shaft? Ja Rule? <laughs> what Odd thing to think about in your final moments, especially when you preceded him by a handful of decades. Question. Okay. Um, what is that? Uh, this is a, an Osmo. It's a sort of like a gimbal. Box. Yeah, sorry, my Osmo is be- What the fuck are you doing, Osmo? Don't embarrass me like this, goddammit. Not in front of the ghosts. Any last words uh, that you'd like to impart to us as someone who spent their final moments screaming as they fell down a dirty old elevator shaft? Not the way anyone would like to go. Christ. I guess he had it worse. You're right. He did get pushed off. Oh! Okay! So that happened to you then? That could have been Kristoff. I'm not sure if that was pushed off or Kristoff. Hit what, Hitler? Oh, what, oh. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Let's stop it there. Uh, I don't think Hitler has anything to do with this. Wait, so did anything actually make sense? Sure, some of it, yeah. That's kind of cool. I don't know what Jaw Rule has to do with this. We yeah, may that have was to weird. Some it was pretty clear, one. too. It was a pretty clear Jaw Rule. Huh. And what'd you think of the, the whole little new spirit box session? I'll be honest, you found a way to make spirit boxes fun. I like to hear that. I had a good time with that one. That's good. That's the Ghost Files difference. You know, that's all I want for you, to have a good time. Oh, thank you. And maybe not be a dick all the time. But, well, you know. I want you to find good evidence. Thank you. You hear that? He wants to believe. I do want to believe. Open that door for him and then shove him right through. On our way to the next room, this happened. What was that noise? Did one of you kick that? No. That wasn't one of you? No. Do we, do we know where it came from? Down here. It sounded like down there. Okay. I you guys no. I don't know what that could have been. I mean, it sounded like something potentially fell on this metal grate, or it could have been like a wire or something. I'm also <laughs> seeing up here, you know, I'm not just trying to debunk this, I'm just- I mean, no, you should try and debunk it. I'm just Serve saying there's a lot yeah. of, uh, you know, we were walking on these stairs and there is a lot of loose wall here. I'll so. tell you what, you stand right here. Okay. Tell yeah. me if anything moves under. Yeah, I mean, there's some little bits coming off, but nothing that would have made that sort of noise. Oh my God, even being up here alone? You don't like it, huh? I don't like it. Love that. <laughs> God, I'm just like, my heart is like legit pounding thinking about later. <laughs> I'm like, gonna have a heart attack. The next part of the building we'll explore is the third floor, where it's said that a little boy named Timmy will roll a ball back to you if you ask him. In fact, on my previous show, I actually had my own encounter with Timmy. After tossing a ball down the hallway, I heard it bounce away into the distance until slowly but surely, it went silent. The ball? did not come back. When I finally found it, I discovered to my horror that the ball had landed directly under my name spray painted on the wall. It's sort of Joe Pesci-like when you do that. Yeah, the one wearing the beanie. I mean, and, and, and just so we're covering all the bases, mixed messages because it also did land beneath a, what did it say, 420 blaze. And, I, blazer and I, I love pot. I love pot. Yeah, but I mean, I do love pot, so. <laughs> well, here we are. Back at the scene of the crime. Yeah. Arguably some of the best evidence we've ever captured happened right here. This is not the blue ball that we use, but it's, it's a white ball. Does it have to be blue? Was that one of Timmy's specifications? I don't know if he's particularly like blue balls, but not many people do. That's true. In this very hall, Caitlin Dodson and Marion Burgess came across some very interesting evidence. We were taking pictures throughout the whole tour and we took this photo in the sunroom. During the picture taking, we didn't really notice anything, like any noises, but we did notice it later when we were looking at the pictures the next day. Could this little boy be Timmy? Whoa. What do you got, dude? Oh man, look, it, it looks like there's two red eyes in the window. Can you see that? Yeah, it's just our IR lights. It's just lights, our IR lights, though. Pretty, oh my God. pretty sick, though. All it's right. like the devil. Here we go, Timmy. Just snapping some photos. Don't mind me. What if he's in every single goddamn picture? Well, then I would be fucking thrilled, and we would leave. So far, nothing, Timmy. Well, we couldn't catch you on camera. So now maybe. we gotta get the net. <laughs> now we gotta get the ghost net. I hate that it comes to this, but I'm taking you back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Timmy? Timmy? Your favorite, I wanted to say brothers, but that felt weird. I feel like Timmy's brother. Yeah, Timmy, your favorite older brothers are back to play. Catch again. People really loved seeing you on the internet, Timmy, and you- oh. 
There's a blue ball. That's a big one. Timmy's doing some kickball. You know what? You want to use that one instead? No, we'll use both of them. Okay. Because I'm curious if, he, if he's like, no, I only play with the blue ball. I mean, at a certain point, you're just throwing, you know. It's... Oh! What? What the frick? Oh, oh shit. The tarp. The tarp. Oh. <laughs> the tarp slammed against that frame and scared the fuck out of me. I would love for you to toss this back to me, Timmy. Remember, we're pals. Here we go. Season premiere. The deja vu of this is crazy. If this ball comes back, I'm gonna jump off that. <laughs> You're done for. <laughs> that little balcony right. And there. I'll watch you. Timmy. Timmy. Okay, Timmy. I'm gonna toss this nice blue kickball that I know you love. It's your favorite color. I'm going full FIFA on this fucking ball here. Yeah, dude. Send it back. I did, that was a, not a great, really poor kick. Not a great kick. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. All right, Timmy. I'd love for you to send that back. Should we go find the ball? Yeah, I think we ought to. Why don't you go by yourself? Huh? Timmy? You heard that, right? You did. Uh, who made that noise? Was that you, Timmy? Where'd the ball go, Timmy? Where did that ball go? Timmy? Tim? Here's the white ball. They're right next to each and other. here's the blue ball. Blue now, ball? If anything, now I'm really white impressed ball. that we got the ball to land. Yeah, really nice. It looks like they're little prizes for us. What was that noise, though? This place, I hate it. I really do hate it. Not you, Timmy, I don't hate you. I just hate your home. Sounds like you hate Timmy. If I see a little boy standing here, whoo, thank God. Oh, I'm so happy to see you, Ryan. The, the thing on the wall, not myself. That's not something I say in the morning. Oh, look, there's another blue ball Another blue ball. Whoa, this place, blue this, balls this, for this, days. This is a blue ball paradise. <laughs> do you think we should throw the ball one more time or do you think we're good here, Shane? I mean, what? nothing different is gonna happen. You never know. Here we go, Timmy. I was like you snagged something out there. I'm sorry if I threw that forcefully at you. And for anybody who may be in this hall. Excuse? What? Just so we're clear, I'm gonna go find this ball and I'm not talking to anybody that's on this floor. I did not throw that at you in anger. Where'd that ball go? There it is. What was that noise? Oh my God, I fucking hate this. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to, because this is your fucking job. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Yeah, well, you gotta. Later in the night, our stuffed bear device programmed to ask pre-recorded questions got this response in the Timmy Hall. Can you finish this? Finally, we arrive at the fifth and highest floor of the building, believed to be the most active. Starting in room 504, this room was believed to be a kitchenette back in the day. It's worth mentioning that there is also another lesser known kid ghost running around Waverly that apparently goes by the name of Bobby. Bobby? Bobby. That's gotta suck if everyone is always asking for Timmy and you're a child. Children get, you know, they get jealous. Yeah. And you're like, I wanna play too. What's wrong with you? Well, I'd be annoyed. I'm trying to put myself in Bobby's little shoes. So you turned into an Easter Island statue? <laughs> well, I'm just imagining if I'm walking the halls or floating or whatever they do, they treadmill it through the place. Yeah, moonwalk. Someone's like, Timmy's balls this, Timmy's balls that. I'd be like, what about my balls, you know? Yeah, what about my balls? Bobby's got balls. I'm sure Bobby does Show us have. your balls, Bobby. <laughs> I figure a kitchen previously filled with snacks is as good a place as any to look for a kid's ghost. And it's here that Joanna Mackins caught something to really chew on. On the fifth floor, while the tour guide was explaining all about Notorious Room 502, I was feeling something strange in Room 504. So I took a series of photos from the doorway, and the next morning, I was pretty shocked to find this unexplained shape. Could 
this ghostly child be Bobby or Timmy? Bobby, there's a candy bar right there for you. Okay, Shane, I'm gonna take some pictures. Actually, could you take some pictures? Sure. Let's try and see if, <laughs> don't get too close to it. It's gonna freak out. Uh, go to where uh, Mark is. This is the old kitchenette. Bobby, are you here? Uh... Okay. That was a little freaky. Yeah, let's get the kitchen. Where's that? Where's the kitchen? This is the kitchen here. This is the kitchen? Well, look. Whoa. I mean, I wasn't near that, right? No. Bobby, if that's you, could you get closer to the candy bar? If you want that candy bar, go ahead and take a bite out of it or just get close to it. Oh. Let me grab my SLS. Bobby, I'm gonna ask you again. Can you get close to that candy bar again? Or anybody up here. Timmy, if you wanna come up here, you could also take a bite of that candy bar. Just get near it. Candy for everybody. Candy for Bobby, candy for Timmy. Oh shit. You guys could lady in the tramp this can shit. You, can you make it go all the way up to the, to the per? Can you get even closer? Can you get even closer? No? Tim? Timmy! It's, it doesn't react to sound at all. Hello? No. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Bobby, once again, can you get close to that candy bar? This looks like we're trying to catch Yogi Bear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> The next room is one of the more notorious in the building, as it is believed to be haunted by a woman who once served as the head nurse, who tragically ended her own life. Allegedly, the young nurse had gotten pregnant out of wedlock, and presumably, the father was not in the picture. Local legend tells that she died by hanging herself from a light fixture in this room. Adding further pain to this room is another nurse who died by suicide after spending time working in room 502. But in this case, she allegedly jumped to her death from the roof for reasons still unknown. All right. This is the place where we spent the night last time we were here. This is exactly where we spent the night. I can't believe we slept right there. Pretty wild. Maybe that's why it's so eerie in here because that was such a horrible memory. Somebody caught a figure right here. Oh yeah, she chilling. I was in the fifth floor at Waverly and we had gone into room 502. My chest felt very weird and tight in there and a lot of my friends shared that same sensation. And we went into the room next to room 502 and I took a picture like going through the doorway out into the hall and I didn't see until we got home but I had captured a figure standing where the nurse had allegedly hung herself. Could this be one of the nurses that tragically passed? We're good. Oh man, the day though when I swipe to one of these and there's something there. That'll be a good day. I'll just crush my phone. You wouldn't do that, you want to. Yeah, I'd want the evidence. I'll airdrop it to you, yeah. then I'll crush my okay. phone because it's haunted. We're gonna pull out a little thing called the spirit box. I'll meet you over by the doorway of 502. Are we just doing a regular spirit box? We're not doing a regular spirit box. Oh, good. You gotta what say, they say I don't care what they say, if it's funny, if it's not funny. I'll say whatever I you hear. Say, I I'll need you say, to I'll say what I hear. Not to me, if you're going to take the exercise seriously. We're professional ghosts. You go can't fucking Listen. nod. Listen, we're professional ghost hunters now. Yeah. This series is a new leaf. I'm a, a changed man and I take my job very seriously. We're here to catch some ghouls. <laughs> Pop those babies on, let me see what I hear. All right, here we go. Like automatic. Amber. S snooker collector. My name is Ryan. Can you say my name back to me if you want to communicate? Guys, crack. Crack. There's rumors out there that you may have not actually done this to yourself. Is that true? Yes! Oh my god. Okay, so it's not true. Ooh, I just got chills up my spine. Uh, what happened then? Dudley! What happened? And they say you took your own life right here, but there was rumors that you might have been involved in an unwanted pregnancy and that perhaps this isn't exactly what you wanted to happen. Beefcake! What? Maxine! What actually happened what to you What are right your here? thoughts? 
What are my thoughts? I'm trying to figure out what happened to you right here. Tongue! Tongue? You! Tongue me? Why? What? Annie! Is that your name? Is Annie your name? Is there anybody else up here that isn't one of the two nurses that people often ask about? Little boy! Little boy. Which little boy is up here? Puddle! There was a little boy caught in room 504. Somebody sent us a photo of him. Human! Human. Can you tell me why you're still here? You! Huh, me? This is your chance. Really? Human! Yes, really. Yes. What happened to you? Come on, I have to leave. Deborah! Deborah. Shane! Shane? Boys! Puddle! Okay, you have 10 seconds to say something that explains Growth! why you are still here. Laser! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. All right, we're gonna leave. M Mo! Johnny! Millions of dollars! Are you, did you get anything? We did get some kind of cool stuff. We okay. got also a lot of nonsense, but we did get some cool stuff. I, I much prefer this method. You look like an insane person. <laughs> it was really nice, I love this. We should start doing this method out in the park. Now, if you'll recall, activity seems to ramp up the higher you go. But I lied, since the most horrific area in the building is actually below ground. The body chute. Why is it called the body chute? Sad you asked. It's called that because it would be disturbing for the rest of the patients to see the bodies of people they knew. So, the staff at the sanatorium created a system to covertly transport the dead to the outside. That system was this 500 or so foot underground body chute. Are they like bobsledding? Are they luging down Oh no, thing? they're not like tossing the body down the like a slip and like, slide. Shoo! No, but they are pushing a gurney down and I just realized with it being like it's such a downward trajectory, they really have to like lean yeah, back. Yeah, that's why I'm imagining. There's had to be at least one instance where they just let it go. And then... Or they were just like, all right, let's- body just rolling down. <laughs> like, how did he die? Oh, it was a respiratory illness. Why are all of his bones broken? <laughs> Why does he look like he got in the ring with Rocky Balboa? <laughs> I don't know. I have well, no Mr. idea. Tuberculosis really beat the shit out of him. <laughs> How does it feel to be returning to this place? I'm not excited to go back down here. I actually never thought I'd be back here. If place. I had to pick any place in my life that I wouldn't expect to be twice. It's here. It's the body shoot. <sighs> and I hear the echo. We're about to get shooted. We are. Dude, I forgot how ridiculous this reveal is. <laughs> yeah, it's oh real. my god. <laughs> Fucking hate this place. And oh, I'm once again reminded that this was a silly decision to restart this career again. <laughs> and since every ill fated patient eventually saw this shoot, there's no telling who we may see down here. There is an infamously sad ghost with chained and bleeding hands and feet that howls in pain who screams and runs from those who rush to her aid. Others have spotted a ghost known as the Creeper, described as a shadowy dark figure crawling along floors and walls, a ghost that some suspect might be a demon. I mean, it's beautiful. No, right? it's not. I mean, it's kind of nice to be back here. First time we were here, we were, a little, we were a little scared guys, a little wimps. I'm just a slightly less scared guy. No, you found your courage. Did I? You're gonna find more of it down there. Audience investigator Anna Rogers definitely made contact with something in the body shoot. My parents were down there and they had an EMF meter that was lighting up like crazy. So my dad started recording while my mom started asking questions. They didn't hear anything at the time except for some loud clanging in the background. But when they played it back later, we could hear some super clear voices. You ready for this? I'm very ready. Are you happy that we're here? Yeah. Will you talk to us again? I would love for you to make this light up again. It's pretty fucking good. There's actually another EVP clip there. Does anyone want to talk to us? It's lighting up, guys. Is there someone that wants to speak to us? Oh, yes. Can you make a noise? Can you try really hard to make a noise? Who 
whoever's down here, could you please communicate with us so that we could prove our friend Anna and, you know, myself just, you know, aren't liars like Shane is claiming we are? I'm not saying you're liars. I believe yeah, that Anna exactly. believes... You're kind of like as a roundabout way. You're giving us a reach around in the sense you're calling us a liar that way. I wouldn't say I'm giving you a reach around. Solely because I don't want to encourage. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ryan. I'm Shane. Can you say either of our names back to us to let us know that you would like to communicate? I have a device here that allows me to hear very well. Say anything, or give us a little tap on the shoulder. We love you. I don't know if I'm there yet. I love you. If you get real deep, the echo sounds real scary. Watch this. I love you. Oh yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love, you. I love that. Is someone down there? Someone down here? We just put two like glowing eyes down there in post production. Uh, no, that's not what we do. <laughs> that was that's a test. Th that was a test. And you well, passed. this is what you think Anna is doing. A test. We're coming down. If there's anything down here, so strap up. Here we come. Well, my name is Ryan. I'm you, Shane. Can can you say my name back? Some pair of gloves. Did someone just get whacked here? What? What was that? Can you say your name? The ovulus takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields, and converts them Interrupt. into corresponding words New moon. or phonetic sounds. I'm not getting anything on this. Okay, let's just keep going down. Do you want us to keep going down the tunnel? Tell us via the magic radio. Give us a little robot command. Well, it's not a radio. Whatever it is, I don't think it uses environmental readings. Okay, all right. Well, we've done it. That was a long walk. We started at the top, and now we're here. Hello? Can one of you use this device to communicate with me? If there's somebody here with us right now, friendly or not, show us a sign you're here. Kill, kill us. Kill both of us. I would prefer that one not. Kill us. Not, maybe not that Please. <laughs> kill us. Kill us. S snap our necks. God. Yeah, both of us in tandem just <laughs> dropping like a sack of rocks. I do not want a neck snap on camera. Should we walk back up? What? Well, look who decided to show up. Maybe. Boba Fett? I'm sorry, we didn't catch any of that. You're gonna have to speak a lot clearer. I'm sorry, what was that? You know what, I'm gonna change it into a word. Do that, do that. Okay. Oh, fuck! What? <laughs> it just said leave. It just turned it on and it just said leave. Disease. Now that's true. Is that how you died? Simple yes or no here. Can you tell us your name? Ma'am? Oh, we just have it set on a lady's voice, right? That's right. Not necessarily. What'd she say? Complete. Complete? What does that mean? I'm gonna turn this off in about 10 seconds if you don't start answering my questions here intelligently. Good job. <laughs> job. King? Well, now don't try and stroke the ego here. We do know we're the kings of ghost hunting. Jog King, jog! <laughs> and now we move to the final phase of the hunt, our individual investigation of the entire five-story building. Grab your diapers. Grab your diapers. Grab your diapers. I'll be... You're gonna be fine. I'll yeah. be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna probably need the diapers. Are you gonna go in every single room? I don't think I could poop that much. That's not what I meant. Are you going to? Oh yes. This is honestly the one of the few places that I find the idea of 
investigating individually a little unnerving. If I were you, I would not be doing well. <laughs> I really yeah, wouldn't. Yeah. I really wouldn't. Yeah, it's gonna suck. I feel oh, crazy right now. I want everyone to know. You have six different it. devices rolling on you right now. Yeah, I yeah. feel let's fucking nutty. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Walkie check. <laughs> Good check. It's time, I'm ready. It's time to do the solos. Yes, it seems it is. Well, you look great. I gotta say, I like this rig. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's liking you, too. You, know? you have six different things recording on you. You have three microphones, three cameras, and uh, one big, ugly old head. And I have a walkie. Well, you look great. Anyways, uh, you know the deal. You go inside. The last 10 minutes, I'll probably tell you to do some actual investigating over the walkie. Okay. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hide that walkie. Somewhere deep within the bowels of Waverly Hills Sanatorium for my special little friend, Ryan Bergara, to track down on his own. That's right. And then once I find your walkie, that's when my time starts for my individual. This is fun. This is fun. This is gonna be fun, Ryan. That's one way to describe it. All right, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye. Don't hide it somewhere too shitty, please. We'll see. I it's don't know. the first time. Just don't be a dick about it. We'll see. I mean, it's already horrific enough. Goodbye, Ryan. He's gonna be a prick. He's a hundred percent gonna be a prick. Obviously, that's a pretty loud, scary doorway. I gotta hit up the body shoot. <laughs> Come on, folks. Every bit of that building is a nightmare show, and I uh. You know, if you told me five, six years ago when I was here the first time that I'd eventually be doing this by myself, I'd probably say, yeah, sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. I might black out. Ghosts, this is the series premiere of Ghost Files, a show dedicated to files of you. So really the best thing you could do is pop out of the darkness. Oh, you'll be beloved on youtube.com. Uh, no one wants to piss themselves on camera, especially while you're wearing the stupid helmet. It's just not a good look. I'll be mocked on the internet forever. Leaving Waverly Hills pissing and crying. Anybody hear me up there? No, I don't think we're getting any reception down here, but we are mercifully making our way to the very end of the shoot here. I expected this would be uneventful, but it was a bit of a personal challenge to walk down to the bottom of the body shoot. Maybe I'll tell Ryan that I put the walkie at the end of the body shoot, just so that he's got to come down here. That wouldn't be half bad. Do you think he can hear me right now? Ryan DeShane, are you okay? I'm just gonna freak him out a bit. Ah! I'm surprised he didn't do something stupid like, oh, there's so much blood. You know, that's classic. I'm gonna hurry solely because this takes for fucking ever. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Shane to Ryan, Ryan, did you copy that? I did copy that. Could you go to the third floor? I want you to talk to Timmy. Shane to Ryan, that's a breach on the third floor. I've reached the third floor. Ask Timmy if he wants to play. And uh, locate one of the blue balls up there. Timmy? It's me, Shane Madej. I actually have always long been curious if the reason why Shane never gets anything in his solo investigations is because uh, he's an enormous D-bag. Y'all wanna play a fucking game, you little punk? Or if it's because he doesn't, in fact, ask any questions when he's down there. I love kids. I love to play games. What I need you to do is roll your ball to me. So what I'm saying is, if I ask him to ask questions and he doesn't get responses. Where's my Timmy? To me! And yeah, it is, he's just an enormous D-bag, it's just confirmed. If you don't show yourself, I'm going to make you show yourself to me! There's one of your balls. Found one of your balls. You don't want to throw a ball at me, I'll throw a ball at you. Hey! Whew. 16 degrees, wow. <laughs> yeah, he's probably freezing his balls off. At least he's in some discomfort, you know. God, if that ball just bounced back. He's not gonna get scared, but I mean. That'd be good fucking internet. It's not gonna happen. He might get hypothermia. <laughs> Can't always get what you want. I'm assuming you've hid the walkie already? No, I'm on my way to do that now. I didn't realize that was baked into my time. I'm hiding the walkie and I will be down uh, shortly after. You know, it's starting to worry me that he hasn't come back yet. That to me means he's really hiding it somewhere far. 
Oh, see, now this is why I'm glad I brought my dang flashlight, because now it's pitch black. My flashlight on my chest just went out. I'm a little annoyed this didn't happen when Ryan was up here, because I would have... <laughs> he would have shit his pants. Where is he hiding this thing, dude? <laughs> where the fuck? I think this is where we are. Oh. Oh yeah, was it really scary down there? I did actually hear some stuff for a minute there. I thought you were up there, uh, like trying to prank me. So I didn't actually react to it in the moment, but it sounded like a person walking around upstairs. But I guess not. Personal challenge to you, because I, I, it was the first thing I did. You gotta walk down that body chute. You gotta, and then find that walkie. All right, you're gonna have fun. Are you serious? Did that actually happen upstairs? Because if that didn't happen, that's your best lie you've ever come up with. No, it actually happened. It sounded like there was a person upstairs. It turns out, Shane wasn't lying. Uh, do you wanna play? Y'all wanna play a fucking game? Did you see it? Watch again slower. Do you wanna play? Here he goes! Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Yes, you are. I mean, I mean, I, you're ready. You have a good time. You gotta find that wonky. And if you shoot for the moon, I think you'll find what you're looking for. If I shoot, oh, okay. I mean, it's probably at the bottom. Uh, well. What do you mean, well? Like, I mean, I guess uh, the whole point is you have to find it. You better right? not have hit it in like the ceiling or some shit like that. No, 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 it's, it's pretty easy to find. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I know you don't. I really don't want to do it. <laughs> can I just, can I just cop out? Can I just like not do it? It's a series premiere, Ryan. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Everyone at home could go fuck themselves. <laughs> no, you cannot. You go fuck yourself. That's what you do. So, get fucking. Fuck! Find the walkie, find the walkie. Find the walkie. Wait. What are you doing? Which way was the body shoot again? I think the plan was to tell him where the walkie actually was. Oh, I didn't know that. It's too late. It's not down there at all. No, I know. He's gonna walk down there and not okay, find I'm it. Okay, I'm gonna go stop it. No, no, no. Let him go down there. Okay, I'm not my fear. I am stronger than my fear. Oh, it's so cold. I am not my fear. Stronger than my fear. Down the body shoot we go. Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. Just keep swimming, 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 swimming. I think I'm disassociating right now. What the fuck? Where is this walking? I don't know why he was so intent on seeing the body shoot, but I think. What the fuck? It's because he recognizes that it's something that he has to do for some personal growth. Okay. Is this Ryan calling my phone? It is. Hello? I'm at the bottom of the body shoot. I'm not seeing this walkie. I think you may have misinterpreted my clue. Are you fucking kidding me? I apologize. I, what I said was, if you shoot for the moon, you'll find what you're looking for. As in, fourth floor. You said it was in the body chute. No, I said I, I, it's a personal challenge for you to go into the body chute. Well, shit, now my time, oh, God damn it. So my time is really not gonna start until I get all the way up back to the fourth floor. I mean, we'll see. Oh, you know what? You're using me as a safety line right now. I'm not gonna let you have this sort of comfort. I'll see you later, buddy. Well, he lied to me. Why would he talk in riddles? He knew this was gonna waste time. Well, I'm gonna kill him. He's gonna be a ghost at Waverly. Just heard. Oh, I hear cranky little footsteps. <sighs> just keep my head straight. Oh, and some muttering. People do this all the time. The dude who works here, he does it all the time. He walks around by himself. He might be crazy. Aim for the moon. What does that mean? <sighs> Go for Shane. Where is it on the fourth floor? You should be able to find it. Do you realize it's gonna take me forever? This this place is huge. You know, I'll, I'll make some noises on the walkie that'll help you find it. I haven't heard. 
I'm okay. Talk soon. I'm coming back down in 12 minutes. I don't care. This is bullshit. This is not the agreement. Honestly, ghosts, I'm in such a shitty mood now that even if you popped out, come and find me. I'd probably just want to fight you. Dude, seriously, what the fuck? Ryan, have you died? Maybe at the end on this chair? Ryan, we will happily call the paramedics if you need us to. Where is that? Just find this walkie and tell us you are in distress. A little bit further, Ryan. You this got was it. not part of the agreement, you dick. Congratulations, <laughs> darling. I'll tell you what, uh, what were we at, 12 minutes now? Seven. I fucking hope I see a ghost. I'm so angry. Okay, well you're in 12 minutes, good luck. Oh boy, I'm so upset. I need to calm down. I can't even feel fear. I'm so angry. All right, who's down here? Just so you assholes know, in six minutes, there's gonna be another tall ghost joining you. I was just about to radio you. You have five minutes to tell me to do whatever you want. Uh, you got nine minutes. Um, why don't you call out to Timmy and uh, ask him to wrap his tiny little hands around your throat in the darkness. All right. Uh, and stand facing the wall like uh, that dude at the end of Blair Witch. It's always fun. I hate you. <laughs> Timmy, I'd love it if you took your little tiny ghost hands and wrapped them around my throat in the dark. I'm gonna stand against this wall so I can't see you doing it. I'll turn my light off. Feels good to be back in the game, you know? Uh, a very daunting place. I got my steps in. All right, nothing happened. Just so you know, I'm coming back down now. Go up to the fifth floor. I want you to just uh, go into that 502 room. Then you can come back down. I'm gonna do that. But I want you to know that you broke the rules here. Anyway. I am going to kill you. All right, I'm on the fifth floor. Uh, can you grab that candy bar and bring that down as proof? Gross. Oh no, the rage is starting to subside and now the fear's coming back. Ooh, my eyes are starting to play tricks on me. I thought I saw somebody right there, but I'm not gonna stay to fire now. Peace out, bitch. This series is about challenging him, you know? I'm challenging myself to want ghost evidence. Oh, the rage started to wear off at exactly the right time. In a weird way, Shane actually did me a big favor. He gave me a, an enemy. And I'm challenging him to be the bravest ghost hunter who ever lived. He already is, we know this, but we really got to scare the hell out of him. <laughs> How'd you do? I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. What do you mean? I gave you, a, I gave you all the clues. There w <sighs> Let's just go home. Okay. Let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, God damn, it's good to be a ghost hunter. For more than 100 years, pain has echoed through time within the walls of Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Did we actually capture humming in the morgue? And could this actually be a figure behind Shane? Our job as investigators is to collect and present questions, possibilities. Interpretation, however, solely belongs with you. But for our part, Waverly Hill Sanatorium can now be locked away in the ghost box. Episode of Ghost Files. If you haven't heard, we'll be answering your questions and breaking down evidence a little bit more on our weekly after show every Wednesday, Ghost Files Debrief. That's right. So submit your questions in the comments below. And if you'd like to see episodes a whole day early, swing by patreon.com slash watcher. Farewell.